guys, this is Mirage from Imagine Skins and today I'm going to show you a Photoshop tutorial on how to create the HDR effect like this image right here um, I'm going to delete this later and we're going to start off from scratch and work with the original image um, the first step you want to do is right click and click duplicate layer or you could do the shortcuts control J after you have duplicated the layer, you want to right click the duplicated layer and you want to click on convert to smart object and you'll see an, a little icon pop up in the thumbtail image for the layer um, go to image and go to <coughs> adjustments shadow highlight after you have done that um, this would be the normal uh, layout for the thing and then just click show more options and fill in the following numbers 15 20 70 50 65 50 and positive 40 and press OK. Next, you want to create, I mean, click on this little icon on the bottom and click on curves. You want to drag this black level around this region, not all the way far over here. It's going to get too dark, just around here until you feel that it looks alright. I'm going to keep it at over here. And then drag the little white levels to the left a little and you'll see that these numbers show up over here the output would automatically be 255 most of the time so just change the input to 222 and press ok now you want to go back to your duplicated layer that you converted to smart object before and you want to go to filter um, other and high pass. This tool is frequently used for sharpening, but we're going to use this for, um, well, yeah, I basically we're going to use this for sharpening. And you could choose between um, one to two pixels for the radius, and I'm, I'm going to stick with one for this one. And we're going to press OK and change the blending mode for this layer to overlay. And there you have it, the HDR effect. I'll show you the before and after so you could see the changes in the results that were made. This was the before and the after. Before and after. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, you could practice this tutorial in Photoshop versions from CS2 to CS4, I believe. I'm currently using CS3 right now. And that's it. Until next time.